Exo Moon. This is a 22 map megawatt by um, Deadwing. After playing map 15, we are going to give map 1 a shot. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing because I liked it so much. I uh, was requested to play map 15 and 16. Um, but I really liked it, so I'm going to do the whole thing. So here's map 1. We are on GL Boom Plus. This is a. Uh, it's called Exo Moon. The map is called Exo Moon. 81 monsters, 2 secrets, 26 items. This is Mr. Land right here. And right here. I like the sky here. Uh, yeah, this is still kind of a beta or something, not really a final release, so uh, we can kind of expect uh, some little bugs here and there. The music is all original. Yellow door. Looks like we get a big empty area to start things. There's my yellow key right away. Okay. There are some changes uh, to the bestiary. And there are some gimmicks that we're following. Apparently a lot of the combat is centered around rocket launching. Alright, well let's do the yellow door. I guess that's all we got to do. Yeah, I kind of like maps that start big and empty. Um, it's almost a shame though, because it's like, you spend so much time creating this nice look and nothing even happens in it. So maybe I'll come back here for a big fight at the end or something, who knows. It is map one, but you never know. So, okay. Stairs. All right. Um. So what? We got two lifts and teleporters. Looks like it. Which one do I do? Right. Left. How about? Uh, I don't know. Let's go right. Am I going to see this? That might be attacking me with this. What if I can make that jump? Possibly. I don't think so. Yeah, there are a lot of 
these semi-permanent drops or whatever you want to call them. the atmosphere. Uh, I really like the gameplay. It's kind of like organized chaos to some extent. Uh, map 15 felt the same way. It kind of felt like I was always borderline lost, but never actually lost. Yeah, I kind of always felt like it'll all come together eventually, and I have no problem running around, figuring out monsters, eventually finding keys and switches. Kind of the same thing here. Like I don't know where the red key goes, or which key I need for the exit, but I don't feel lost yet because there's enough to explore. I haven't exhausted the possibilities yet. Um, however, I'm going to save here because it seems that... Uh, I thought this might be a lot easier than map 15, which I've already played. Um, it's not like an opener, a breeze of an opener, that's for sure. It's uh, definitely got some difficulty to it, so... I don't know what's going to happen. Well, that's what's happening. Get destroyed by... And the Revenant this time. So yeah, so... be a little bit of a problem in maps like this where there are numerous paths, numerous ways you can complete it. Because there was a super shotgun, I'm assuming I could have gotten that already. Wasn't able to, obviously, but... Um, so no, it's not bad. I've got, I still have 10 shells and I'm assuming I'll pick up more before any significant fights. Go to the revenant side just to see what's in here. Well, oh, that's damaging. Well, I can get across. You know, I don't really have the health for that. Let's go this way first. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. All right. So from here. Ah. I can get my super shotgun. and do that other area? Sure. No, I haven't taken the teleport yet. Two more rockets out of it. Oh, no. 
not see him at all. Okay. Oh, that's how I can get these goodies. This is where I wanted to be, because I want to check out this side anyway, so, perfect. So yeah, you see how I'm kind of just wandering around, not really sure where I'm going, but eventually I find where I want to be. Um, I think the areas are distinct enough that you know where you are once you're there. It's just kind of a matter of, well, how do I get there again? So, uh, I wanted to try to jump into there. I don't know if that was going to happen. Alright, so there's one area that looked promising. Oh, there's a bridge. Cool. Might have been this right here. Yeah. But yeah, how can you not love this? I mean, it's just really cool design. Um, it might be a tad bit bland because you got a lot of this texture right here. But I mean, look at this. You got water, you got natural cavernousness. Really fun combat. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, I do have red. Okay. Thanks. So I guess if the difficulty is plutonium. This is, well, Plutonia on what, though? <laughs> Plutonia on Ultraviolence? I mean, this is kind of comparable to Congo's difficulty. I think Congo's a little harder. I haven't played it in quite a while, but... At least from what I recall. I still got a few enemies left. Alright, there we go. There's that one. So yeah, as you can see, uh, a different take on Doom as far as visually and kind of uh, conceptually, very uh, very open, very exploratory. Um, we Right away we get into some solid challenging combat, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I, I, can, I can maybe appreciate how someone might be a little bit frustrated with um, maybe the, the layout and how they might find it easy to get lost because there are a lot of like one-way entry points where you drop down a cliff and you got to find another way back up or a teleporter or something and it doesn't necessarily go where you think it might go so I, I could I could appreciate that I don't feel that way I like it because I you know again I kind of feel borderline lost but never enough that I'm frustrated or that I feel like I'm out of options and don't know what to do there's always a path to explore there's always a way to get where you need to go there's always a an objective in front of you, so well done. Look forward to playing the rest of this. <laughs>